I wanted to share with you what to do if you sprain your ankle, especially if you sprain your ankle in the past and you're dealing with problems later in life, okay? What can you do about this? You'd be surprised on how many people have ankle pain, foot pain, knee pain, and even low back pain from an old ankle sprain. The most common type of ankle sprain is where the outer part or lateral part of your ankle becomes inverted. And so when you roll your ankle inward, you traumatize the ligaments on the outside. Now, of course, if you fracture the lateral part of your ankle or one of the ligaments are completely tore, this technique is not for you. This is for the person who sprained the ankle and nothing is actually tore. Now, initially when you sprain your ankle, you should ice it, immobilize it. But after about 48 hours, you wanna definitely start putting motion into the ankle because the scar tissue is gonna set in and then you're gonna start developing stiffness. There's a lot of compensation that happens when you sprain your ankle because when you walk, you have the opposite leg it has to pick up the slack and it develops all sorts of problems in your calf on the opposite side and your, your thigh on the opposite side. So here's what you're going to do. And I'm going to demonstrate this on an actual person. Number one, stretch the same ankle that you sprained, okay, into the opposite direction it was injured. So if you sprained it this way, you're going to you're gonna be stretching it in the opposite direction, okay? Number two, you're gonna stimulate or massage the opposite ankle, the mirror image. So if you, if you injure the ligaments on the outside of your right ankle, you're gonna stimulate through massage the outside ligaments on the good side, okay? On the left ankle. If it was on the right ankle, you stimulate the left ankle exactly where you were injured. All right, number three, you're gonna work on the opposite calf and outer thigh. Now, what do I mean? work on. I mean massage because of the compensation, especially if this is chronic and it's an old injury. So you're going to be working on the calf on the opposite side, the muscles all the way down to the Achilles tendon. I'll show you as well as the thigh, primarily the outside of the thigh on the opposite leg that was basically taking up all the slack. Okay. So, so this ankle has been strained and it's been strained for how many years? Three. Three years, okay, so you you came down and it went this way, okay, so this way right here. So the best thing to do for this ankle is to do the opposite motion when we're taking it this way right here. We're gonna just take the ankle and do in the opposite direction like that. Now, does that give you any relief? Does that make it feel a little better? Yeah. Yeah, so, so what we'll do is we're gonna, if he actually went this way, we go the opposite way. So this stretch right here, and you milk it, and it's gonna give them the most relief. It's going to send signals to get more circulation into the opposite side through here, okay? And if you want to get rid of pain, if there's pain in here, you're gonna work on the other ankle on the opposite side, where the, the mirror image side. So if it hurts on the outside here, you work on the, <laughs> the other ankle on the mirror image, and you'll just press around the bottom part of that bone, though those three ligaments are, and you'll just kind of find the point that's really tender. Is it, did I find it? Yeah. yeah, I found it. So I'm going to press on the good ankle right underneath this, um, it's called the distal lateral malleolus. Not that you need to know that, but right through in here, we come up there and we just really work that out and stimulate this. This is actually gonna force blood flow into the other side. It's gonna give the person a lot of relief. So I'm gonna massage that. It doesn't matter kind of like any pattern, just whatever, you just stimulate it. And the key is finding the exact point that's very, very tender. Yeah. Is that it right there? Yeah, right through in there. I'm not flipping you off here, so. Now, what happened is after three years of limping on the leg, on this side, this side has taken over and has uh, built up a lot of um, tension because of the compensation. So you have to work on the calf on this side. So we're gonna work on the calf and massage the bottom of the calf and strip it all the way down. And you're gonna work on that every day. And it's gonna hurt. Uh, he's in pain right now. I'm going kind of light but you work out these muscle spasms right through in here, all the way down to the Achilles tendon. It's gonna give the person so much relief. Now, you know, I'm not even focused on the area that he had a sprained ankle. I'm focusing on the opposite side. 
So you don't want to work too much on this, the side where he injured himself. You work on the compensation part. And then we go right up to the leg. This muscle right here, vastus lateralis, this is the one that's been compensating for the ankle. So we'd also want to work on this point right here. And on the outside here, and there probably is going to be some tenderness through here, right there, right? All through here. And uh, I can see through his eyes bulging out. This is very tender. He's probably never, ever had this worked on through here. And you just work this out. You can use a massage tool, the end of a brush, uh, or you can roll on a foam roller to break up these adhesions all the way down here. And that's going to give him tremendous relief on the opposite side. So just go ahead and stand up right here and tell me how this foot feels now. Just kind of see if it feels any different. Yeah. Lighter? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, okay. Now I'm going to show you a bonus technique. We're going to adjust his ankles. Okay, so what you do is you have the ankle right here and you have to put your knee over right through in here, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hands right here and put it over the knee and I'm going to lift up and traction up, okay? And I'm going to go forward. Did you feel that? Yeah. So you hear these clunking. Oh, wow, that was a good one. So you do that several times. You're breaking up the adhesions on the ankles. So you lift up and cock down. So lift up, down this way, okay? And then I can do the other side right here too. Up, down. <laughs> okay. Lift up and then cock down, okay? That's how you adjust the ankle. So here we have the outside of the fibula right through in here, and then the tibia is right here. So this is an, a stabilizer muscle, and you have three ligaments that come to this bone right here, the calcaneus, your heel, okay? And so the most common injuries are the, uh, where this uh, foot rolls inward the right here, okay? It rolls inward, and so you just end up tearing or creating a sprain on these little ligaments right here doesn't necessarily have to be ruptured or tore, but it could be bruised or, or traumatized. And then what happens, these heal with um, scar tissue. So it's very, very important to um, uh, do this correctly. If it becomes a major problem and it's not healing, uh, it could be that this is fractured, it could be that the ligament is completely tore or tore off the bone. So obviously all those are surgical procedures, but if it's not completely torn, if it's just traumatized, you know, you want to, of course, use ice. Then you want to stretch in the opposite direction where you actually had this ankle sprain. So if you sprain it this way, you're going to come outward right here. That way, you have no way of traumatizing these ankle, this uh, ligaments again. And you're just kind of, you're, you're kind of uh, creating a, an opposing uh, force on the opposite, opposite side. It's going to make the person feel good. It'll increase circulation. And then the other point I want to mention is that um, uh, it's important not to limp when you're walking after a sprain, a lot of people set up this uh, pattern of walking that creates this asymmetrical, this kind of limping on the opposite side, letting the other uh, leg support it. And so that creates all sorts of muscle imbalances and, and then eventual knee problem on the opposite side and the hip problem. So if you can stretch this and keep it in motion and start to gradually rehab it, make sure that when you walk, you don't walk with a limp, try to walk as normal as possible. And that will set you up for um, a, a really good recovery. Now, if you have not seen my video on plantar fasciitis, that would be a good video to check out right now.